Okay, so it's a couple days later. We have already solidified all of the painting within the apartment. So now it's time to redo my bedroom floors. So this is essentially the layout of what I want it to look like. I'm trying to capture the essence of these uh, barn wood doors and bring in some wood tiling. So I'm hoping that it ends up looking good, you know? This is the current state of the floors in the bedroom now, so I feel like this wood would look so much better. So let's get it. This is with about four tiles down, and you can't even tell that it's actual tiling, so I am loving it. Um, as you can see, for the most part, we've gotten a lot of it done. It's just these um, corners around the floor, like around the, the frame of the walls that we need to finish. We literally have to cut. The tiles come in like that frame, that shape, right? And we literally have to cut it out exactly to get it to fit and like if you zoom in if we come closer and you see like how a perfect example of when you cut the tiles um unevenly how it ends up looking yeah it's a really big pain so this is where we're at i'm probably gonna honestly just take this out because i don't like the way it looks um but yeah, this is where we are and my goal is to really finish it for today. So stay tuned for the final product. Finished. This back edge, I swear, was the death of me. It was blowing mine the entire time, the whole corners, because the obviously the dimensions are like uneven. So even like with this, if you really look closely, you can see where I've like had to like reshape the tiles. Um, but overall, it looks so good. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of Klaus because we worked our ass off on this floor. So I just got a package with stuff that I ordered from Amazon. I got this Brita filter just so that I don't have to keep buying like water bottles or be stuck without water when I run out of bottles. I got this um, cute little shower curtain to match the bathroom theme. And then I got these wall plates, which are basically to um, cover the outlets that are in the bedroom. As you guys can see, I have like these um, outlets here along the walls that need some plating. I need to get the ones for the, the light too, but uh, for now I'm okay with that. But I just got these for that so that I can cover the outlet and I don't have to see that. I'm also really excited because my linen tower came in the mail. This is essentially what it's supposed to look like, um, just so that you guys get an idea. I got this cream color just because I really wanted it to match the tiling and I just figured having it plain would just be better. I was really excited to get this because I've had this freaking lining, the plastic one, for so long without an actual curtain and it, to me it just doesn't look as good, so. I mean, it served its purpose, it did its job, but I'm just really excited to get the new one in. My sister also got me these shower hooks. Um, but I have another curtain in mind for for these shower hooks, so this one is just gonna be good with the brown hooks right now.
finishing product of how it looks. I think it goes perfectly with the theme of the bathroom. This rug is gonna be here temporarily. I will be changing that to like a beige color because I really want the theme to stick to beige and brown accents. You see I got the brown towel. Yeah, I would be changing that to like brown or beige and change the towel set as well. Again, as I said in my last video, I am going to be taking this stand out. I may replace it, I haven't decided yet, but for now, we're here. about living by yourself, having to, having no one else to help you to assort some pieces and furniture and stuff like that. But at the same time, I've always been like someone who is like fascinated by this. So this is like oddly satisfying. Like I like to build things. Um, so this is gonna be fun. And whatever I can't do, I do have brothers and a boyfriend and a father and stepdad that could, come over if I need the extra help. But I've always been someone who's interested in like trying to do things for myself first before I ask for help. Especially when it comes to building. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I'm able to do it all by myself because I would really love for this to be one and one and done today. So let's go. screwing in those backboards. I 100% screwed them in the wrong way, but that's okay because you know why? We're human, we make mistakes, and all we need to do is figure out a way to fix them, right? So that's exactly what I did. I just took this time to flip them over, figure out a way to take out those nails because you know we hammered them down, but I got them out and I flipped it over and I nailed them back in and you can't even tell the difference so thank the lord baby jesus we all make mistakes and it's all about what you do after you fall to get back up you cannot even tell that it was done backwards and took out and whatever like none of the backboards are scratched or anything like that so thank the lord <laughs> keep it catty cornered like this because I think it adds a nice vibe and it allows you to have space walking through to get to the bedroom or the bathroom um, but it worked out well it worked out very beautifully um, I will be adding you know some towels in there all of the stuff that's probably up there that's unnecessary to be seen will probably be hidden in there but I love it this is the result of building something on your own. Comes out just as good, so don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't, because bam, y'all. So now that that's done, I'm going to be installing 
these plates into the outlets. So we're about to start unboxing. As you guys can see, I have some packages here that I haven't opened. So I already saw here that I got some of my pots, well pans rather. I had already gotten a whole set of pots and pans, but it didn't really come with like different size pans that I know that I would need when I'm cooking. So I got these three different types just regular basic but just something to have you know and then i got my swiffer wet jet dry and wet actually which is so much better of an investment than a regular broom and mop i know that this is my laundry bin my laundry basket it's supposed to look like that so we're gonna definitely assemble that soon the mystery box i have no idea what the hell is in here but we're about to find out. It's in the mystery box. <laughs> Essential item that you need to have in your house. Okay, a box cutter. Because when you get them packages, it's hard to open with just a scissor. Boom, easy. Simplified. It's definitely a target order, so it's definitely something from my registry, but who knows? <sighs> yes, I thought I wasn't gonna get this till next week. I got a new comfort set. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it. Look at it. Bruh. Am I supposed to help you? Friends, right? What are they there for? <laughs> Look, I like it. It's pretty. I'm trying to go with that rustic theme for the bedroom. Another thing that I received, guys, is this little shower caddy that I've been dying to put in so that I wouldn't have all of my soaps and shampoos and conditioners all on the windowsill. So I wanted to show you the update on how it looks. So how cute. It goes all the way up into the ceiling and connects to your tub. So yeah, so it's just very convenient and I feel like it's not in the way where it was all along on here. So now it's just going to be easy access. I can just turn around and use what I need to use and it be at my height level and I wouldn't have to get the bottles wet because one thing, I don't know if you guys ever noticed that when you leave the bottles wet, they start to develop like a, a mildew type of thing that you um, that you can see like look I've I've cleaned my bottles countless times but you can even still see like the marks from whatever the water ends up developing on the bottles so just leaving it back here is just gonna allow it to stay from getting wet stay away from getting wet and everything can be nice and neatly organized as opposed to just along my shower window ledge. What I do need to get is some curtains for up there. But yeah, so here's my little shower caddy. Loving it. I'm thinking of replacing the current shower head that I have and I wanna get some eucalyptus to hang around it. So I wanna do something a little different this video. This is meant to just be a vlog, you know, just to kind of show you like my Sunday and unravel all the Bob the Builder details and all the things that I've gotten and that's great. but. On Sundays, I always like to start with coffee and worship, right? And I'm a part of Hillsong Church. Um, I watch Hillsong East Coast, Carl Lenz, amazing pastor. Um, but it just dawned on me that it's been a year since I've committed myself to strengthening my beliefs and becoming closer to God and just growing spiritually. And, you know, every Sunday, I try to make it a point every Sunday to worship, to listen to worship music, to hear the preach of the day, all of that. Um, and then even throughout the week, like I, I really like to start my mornings off honestly with Christian music when I'm at work, just because I feel like it gives me a peace of mind and it just, it calms me. Of course, I get to thank God for all my blessings. As I'm watching this service right now, this Sunday service by Carl, who as you guys can see, I can turn the TV 
I'll turn the, the camera so you guys can see that he's on my TV right now. I had to pause it. I had to pause it because in watching this, um, he just said something that really resonated with me and I want you guys to hear it. It says this, what happens when we live God's way? It brings gifts into our lives. What happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts into our lives. Literally, and that's so true. So I wanted to take this time out just because I wanted to thank God because within this past year, I've never been more blessed in my entire life. In my entire life. Like, you know, like I, I've struggled for a very long time to just get my life together. And literally in this past year, you know, it... <laughs> It's, a, it's honestly, to me, it feels like a miracle because I was struggling for so long, you know? Like, I went a whole year after graduating without employment in my field. I was, you know, doing retail, and then that stopped, and then I wasn't working, and I, it was just, it was, it was a lot. And in that time frame, I committed myself to knowing God and knowing, you know, His strength and just having overall faith and belief that as long as you have strong beliefs and faith that God will always prevail. And literally what happened in this past year, I found employment, I found a job that I freaking love. I got multiple offers and I chose a job that I chose for just convenience and it ended up being the best decision that I could have ever made for myself. I am in this job that I love with amazing people that I work with um, doing exactly what I wanted to do, what I feel like I was called to do. And then also, now I'm in this place where I had the opportunity to be independent and live on my own. And that was something that has been a goal of mine for years. And I've just never been able to do it. And now I'm finally in that place where I'm able to. And it's just, what happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts into our lives. And I can't thank God enough for continuing to bless me in the way that he has for allowing me to achieve the goals that I have set for myself um and I really truly truly believe that that is all his work you know we do what we can but at the end of the day everything is in his in his power everything is in his hands and as long as we believe as long as we live the way that he's called for us to be then things always ultimately work themselves out so I just wanted to put that in there and um just bless y'all with these good vibes because i have felt them from him and i am so thankful to have felt them from him and sometimes we just need a little bit of reminder you know especially for those who might be going through a dark season i went through a very long dark couple of seasons and now i'm in this place that I never expected to be in that surpassed where I believed that I could go. So, you know, especially if you're in a dark place right now, you're in a dark time, you're going through a season, just know that it's gonna get better. It's always gonna get better and you just have to keep your, your beliefs strong and hone in on your spirituality and your beliefs and ultimately, you know, give it some time, it'll work itself out. I promise you, it will work itself out. I'm literally, a living proof of that so <laughs> I just wanted to share that and I wanted to just thank God real quick because none of what I show you in this video would have ever been possible without him so amen amen and amen